Hey class, uh, first workout of the week, uh, fourth week, and this is the last workout where we are uh, training at 25 second intervals, um, time intervals within the circuit. So next session it'll be 30 seconds, so it's really important um, that we progress, right? That we're striving to improve um, on our stamina and our strength. Um, and so that's what is going to happen. So this is our last workout, 25 seconds. Um, today's workout is, again, another three uh, different intervals, and we will repeat each one three times in a row before we move on to the next one, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, warming up, knees. Arm swings across and up and down. Hip rotations. Switch. So I hope you're looking forward to this workout. I am. Remember, good positive thoughts, easy squat, a good positive mindset, right, going into this. Good. And lunge and rotate. Other leg. And stand up, rolls on the toes, back on the heels. All right. So uh, again, I'm gonna go one exercise at a time, demonstrate the first time through each exercise, which will create a little bit of a pause in between for our heart rates to come down. Um, and then the second and the third time, we're going to go straight through, okay? All right, so we have uh, cardio, upper body strength, cardio, lower body strength, cardio, and then core today. So first exercise cardio is going to be slow standing mountain climbers. So same arm, same leg on the side of the body, and it's just slow. But we want to try and get our knees up high, all right? All right, for 25 seconds, ready? Go. lateral hover walk so the hover remember we're down here and we're in this table position right and we're just simply lifting our knees up off the ground that's the hover hovering the floor the lateral walks look like this we're hovering and going back and forth side to side okay 25 seconds ready go So you're just walking your hands, walking your feet, keeping your knees off the ground. Four, three, two, one. Good. All right, go ahead and stand up. We have mountain climbers this time, but quick. So it's quicker. It's like we're running. Okay? 25 seconds. Ready? Go. Try to get the knees up. Five, four, three, two, Uh, lower body. 
So we have front lunges. So we're just gonna alternate, lunging. We step out, bend that knee, step back. Other leg forward, other leg back. Try to keep your trunk nice and tall. 25 seconds, go. Good. All right, stop. Uh, we're going to go down for mountain climbers prone. So that just means that we are in our plank position. And so now we're doing the same move except in a plank position. Hands are stable or st static, and we're just moving the feet for 25 seconds. Ready? Go. Three, two, one, stop. Good job. All right, so last exercise of this first interval is a bridge exercise. So we're gonna come down on our backs. So this is our core. <clears throat> and these are just bridging with our arms at our sides. So we've done these before, arms at our sides, elbows bent, and we're simply lifting the hips up, holding at the top pulling it down. All right, 25 seconds, ready, go. Tighten the glutes as you lift. That helps tighten the hamstrings, the quads, stabilizes the back. Last one here. Good. All right, get a quick drink. We're gonna repeat that same cycle. So again, the second and the third time through, we're just going six in a row. So no rest in between. So I will cue you in, lead you into the next exercise. Again, it's 25 seconds, but I'm going to go 30 just so that you can catch up when you're watching me and then get right into it. And that should take you about five seconds. All right, so we're gonna start together with slow standing mountain climbers. Ready? nice and high, reach up. Next will be our lateral hover walks on our hands. So down in that table position. Here we go. And go. Your quick mountain climber standing. And stop and go. After this, we have lunging.
After this, we'll go down for plank mountain climbers and then finish with bridge. on your backs, go right into bridges. Last one. All right, get some water, have a little break, and then we're gonna go repeat again. This will be the last one, the first interval. All right, come on back, starting with slow standing mountain climbers, ready? Next is the standing mountain climbers. Next will be our plank mountain climbers and then finishing with bridge. Last one, we get a rest, and then we'll go to the second interval. That seems really fast, isn't it? <laughs> Last one here. Good. Get some water. Good job. All right, 
So while you're recovering, before we go into the second interval, I just want to explain something. Um, we want to feel uncomfortable. So we want to feel like our heart rate is really pumping, right? And we want to feel like we're a little bit short of breath and almost like a feeling of, I don't, you know, I don't want to keep going. I want to stop. But we want to maintain that. So we want to keep that feeling going for the full amount. And, you know, we build on that, right? And so the more you rest or stop or even just pause, um, we can't push through that threshold. And so uh, we want to be able to push through so that we can improve upon the time. Otherwise, we just get left in the dust and we're just constantly uh, pausing, stopping, resting, recovering, and our heart rate never really pushes beyond that, that in that training zone. And so um, we have to feel more uncomfortable and be okay with that. So here we go. Second uh, interval starts with step outs with full arms. So full arms just simply means I'm lifting and reaching both arms above my heart, okay? And we're doing these as fast as we can for 25 seconds. Here we go, ready? Go. Again, anytime we lift our arms up above our heart, the blood has to be pushed up which creates an increased pulse. And stop. So we have plank dog kicks and we're reaching and stepping. So we're not actually lifting. So it looks like this. I'm in a plank position and I'm going to reach out with my right hand when I, when I reach out with my left foot. So then I come back in I reach out with my left hand and my right foot. So it's opposite hand, opposite foot. Okay? Here we go. 25 seconds. Ready? Go. and stand up so that was our upper body burn right it's also core as well so next one is skaters we've done skaters before so our skaters look like this we're gonna bring our hands behind our back and we're skating bringing that foot behind that hop leg okay 25 seconds ready go And stop. Whew. Good job. Okay, we have lower body strength. These are side lunges. So we did alternating front lunges. We're going to do side lunges. So basically, I'm stepping out and I'm going to bend this knee, keeping this leg straight, and I'm going to sit back, keeping my knee over my toe here. Come back, other side. Lunge out. Keep that leg straight, sit back, knee over toe. So try to keep your trunk nice and still and static and flat back. Here we go. Side lunges. Go. Got a lot of lateral work. Last one. Good. All right. Cardio. 
couple. We've done these before. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee, okay? So we wanna keep our arms up. See if we can connect the elbow to the knee, okay? For 25 seconds, ready? Icky shuffle, go. though. So our arms are still at our sides, but now when we bridge, we're going to extend one leg out, extend the other leg out, pull our hips down and repeat. All right, 25 seconds, ready, go. time through remember our heart rates are going to be up pretty steady because we're not resting so just focus on maintaining keep it going don't stop keep working okay all right step outs with full arms so I'll lead you into the next exercise just like last time uh, so just remember to listen to what that exercise will be okay step outs with full arms ready go next will be our plank dog kicks so the reaching out and the reaching up Arm, opposite leg. Next will be skaters. lunges are next. be our icky shuffle. So when you feel short of breath, just focus on your breathing. And stop. Icky, go. Last will be bridges with leg extension.
squeeze it and then we get some rest. Last one. Good. All right, get some water. And this will be our last time through in the second interval. The time is flying. All right, you guys, same exercises, six in a row, starting with step out with full arms. Ready? Go. Next will be plank with dog kicks, so that extension and that outward move with the foot. skaters and stop. Here we go. Keep going. Just catch up. We're still starting right now. Keep going. Remember I go 30 seconds so it's really 25. Next will be side lunges. shuffle after this and then down for bridge keep moving stay with me and stop Sticky. Leg extension. Here we go. Get a nice break after this. Going into our third cycle. Our third interval. First cycle. Last one. Good. Water. Nice job, you guys. You're still with me, right? All right. While you're recovering, I'm just gonna explain the third one. So the third interval, we have some hopping and jumping. Okay, so I've saved that for the last one. So now our, our, our calves and our Achilles and our feet are nice and warm and ready to go for some bouncing. Uh, we're gonna start out with jump roping and we're gonna jump on two feet for half the time and then we're gonna hop from one foot to the other for the other half, okay? Remember, jump roping, we're still moving our arms, rotating them forward. All right, here we go. Two feet jumping. 
go on the balls of your feet flexible ankles like a little bounce to the hopping I like that all right upper body push-ups in the blast off if you're doing traditional push-ups if you're doing modified push-ups push-ups I want you to do just pull back so let me demonstrate remember push-up blast off all right modified push-up pull back got it all right alternating <clears throat> Ready? Go. And stop. Stand up. Oh. Next one is lateral low hopping. So it's actually jumping, you're on two feet. But I call it a hop because it's kind of like a mini jump, so it's really low. Um, so it looks like this. We're swinging our arms. Okay, so notice that knees are flexed and I'm keeping my ankles slightly flexed as well. Keeping my trunk pretty tall and I'm swinging my arms forward as I jump, okay? Keep your knees flexed, stay in control, ready, go. Stay balanced, centered, two feet touch the ground at the same time. cycle interval okay so we have curtsy lunges if you notice the theme we went front lunge side lunge and now back lunge so remember the curtsy lunge you actually back and cross so diagonally bend both knees all right here we go 25 seconds curtsy lunges go keep your trunk tall legs do the work Last one. Stop. Good job. All right, so now we have a burpee, but there's no push up. So all we're doing is we're jumping up, hands above our head. We come down, hands on the floor, and then we either pop our legs out, pop our legs in, or we step back, step in. Repeat. Okay? So that'll be your modified stepping back. Otherwise, you're hopping your feet back, hopping them forward, hopping up. All right, here we go. No push ups, burpee. Ready? Go. one. Good. Down for bridges. Ooh, a lot of dynamic work there. Okay, so this time our bridge is with a knee pull. So arms are still on our sides, 90 degree bend, lifting the hips, and now we're pulling our knee in, pulling our knee in lowering the hips okay 
25 seconds. Ready? Go. Try to keep your hips high when you pull your knees in. You get rest after this. Last one. All right, get some water. Nice job, two more to go. All right, so because we're not resting in between, our heart rates are going to, to get up there, okay? And this is probably where we're gonna feel a little bit uncomfortable, right? That's okay. Just keep pushing through it. Control your breathing. Positive thoughts. You can do this. You're not going to die. This is going to be challenging, but good. Okay. So we're jump roping. So we're going to start with double. So double feet, jump, and then single foot hopping. And then I'll lead you into the next one, which is our push-ups. I already led you. All right. 25 seconds. Ready? Go. push-ups in the blast off or modified push-up in the pull backs. Stop. Here we go. Go. Remember I give you five seconds to get caught up to me. Next is our lateral low hops, go sideways. Last one. There we go. Next will be our curtsy lunges. Next will be our no push-up burpee. I want to finish strong, you guys. Just two exercises left here. Last one. Good. Here we go. will be bridges with knee pulls last exercise and then we get some rest yeah last one good come on down arms at your sides go your pull should be high Breathing strongly, right? It's good for you. Last one. All right, grab some water. This is it. So exciting. Last cycle. And then we get abs and backs. If you're doing great.
great. If I could see you, I know you would be. And if you think you're slacking, you got one more set. I know you have it in you. Come on, push through this. Positive thoughts, push all the way through. Don't stop, stay with me and you'll feel good about it. All right, here we go, jump roping. Ready, go. push-ups in the blast-offs or modified push-up in the pull-back. Stop. Go. Lateral little hops are next. Last one. Nope. Curtsy lunges are next. Push up burpee. So two more after this and we're done with the circuit. Stay with me. Last one. All right, here we go. Oops, sorry. No push up. No push-up burpee. Go. I was doing push-ups. Last ones. After this, we go down for bridges with knee pulls. Here we go, very strong. Last one here. And get some water. Yes. And find your spot. Grab a mat if you need it. Grabs. All right, you guys, I'm gonna explain what we're doing um, while you're getting ready. Uh, 30 seconds of each exercise. We're gonna go three abdominals in a row, and then we'll go three back exercises or core exercises, which is really just more plank work because it's good for us, right? Um, and then we stretch. So we have three minutes of exercises left, and that's it. Yay! All right, so crunches with knee pulls. We've done these before. Just take note that when you lift your shoulder blades up off the floor with, for a crunch, that we really wanna press our back down into the mat. So we wanna pull our abdominals in 
and press down towards the mat, okay, as we lift up. Um, it looks like this, remember, up with a knee pull, with a knee pull, okay? We're going for 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Of course, breathe through the move. Don't hold your breath. Last one here. Good. All right, side slides. We've done side slides before. So watch me. It's one hand is behind your neck, holding your head and shoulders up off the mat. Your other arm is extended. And while your shoulders are elevated, you're just sliding over to try and touch this heel, okay? So we're gonna go 30 and 30. So 30 on the left, 30 on the right. Breathe through it. Try to see if you can sustain for 30 seconds. Lift up and slide. Last one, stop, rest, ooh. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. Other hand behind your neck, other arm down at your side. Go ahead and lift up and slide. Last one, and stop, and rest. Oh, <laughs> that burns. All right, come on up to a seated position. So we're gonna do accordions here, but we're gonna do single leg and double leg. So we'll start with double leg so that we can go to singles uh, when we get a little tired. So just a, a brief demo, hands are outside the hips. Remember, accordions, legs go out chest goes out, knees come in, chest comes in. So accordions, double leg, and then we're gonna go singles. So we tap down one leg at a time, okay? All right, so for 15 seconds, both knees in for accordions. Ready and go. stop. All right, we have singles. Ready and go. And stop. Good job. All right, go ahead and turn over. So we're going to do what's called a low cobra into a double leg lift. So it's actually two exercises in one. Um, so the low cobra looks like this. So I'm going to extend my arms out, head is down, and I'm basically just going to slide my arms up and in onto my elbows, lifting my trunk up, pressing my pelvis down, my legs stay down. Then I slide back down. And from here, I'm going to lift both legs up, keeping my pelvis down and my head down. So I'm just alternating between the two moves, okay? So here we go for 30 seconds. Oops. Hold on. Ready and 
go. Last one here for both moves. Good. All right. So next we have a low plank into a side plank, into a low plank, into the other side plank. Okay. So this is actually like so many moves in one. So we're going to finish with this one. So let me show it to you. What will help with the transition into side plank is what you do with your feet. So watch me. I'm on a low plank. Hold. And then when I say side plank, I'm going to bring this leg across behind me. Okay? And then I'm going to bring it back. Or I can shift. Just shift my feet. It's up to you, whichever you feel more comfortable. You get a little more strain on the shoulder with the, just the, the slide of the foot. So it's up to you if you wanna cross your feet. So we're gonna go low plank, side plank, back to low plank, other side plank, back to low plank, okay? I'll let you know when the shift. Ready? Hold low plank. Go into side plank. Low plank. Other side plank. Low plank. Stay here. And stop. Good job, you guys. Low back stretch, we are in stretch mode. All right, from here we're gonna go into pigeon. So that means this front leg is bent and the back leg is straight. And we're just gonna bring our chest down over our bent leg. And then we're going to sit up and we're going to switch legs and come down. Then we're going to sit up and split our legs. Good job today, you guys. We did this together. Stretch forward. Always feel so good when it's over, right? But you should feel accomplished for it. Side stretch for what you did. So just a reminder, next workout will be 30 second intervals for exercises. So we're adding other or back to center and then other side, adding five seconds to each exercise. So which is really is like 30 seconds to each interval, right? Back to center three times, so that's a minute and a half times three is four and a half minutes. So we're adding about four and a half minutes in that range, right? Butterfly to our actual length of our workout. So even though it seems like it's only 30 seconds, it's actually more than that in the grand scheme of things. So so might change it up a little bit, might do some more boxing workouts, but also just uh, changing the, the style um, of the cycles <clears throat> to add time. And then reach back with your arms, head back.
and come forward, legs straight ahead together. And arm across. And switch. All right, you guys, we're done. Good job. We'll see you next time. Bye.